Um, I have gained more access to the, like the Holy Spirit. Like they've taught me about the Holy Spirit and learned that there's not a junior Holy Spirit that way you can all um, have access to the Holy Spirit. And I've learned more of the Father's heart for me and my identity in Him. I feel like my like my entire life has been transformed through Encounter Youth. I've been a Christian all my life, but I never really had a relationship with Jesus before I came here. And just coming here and being in this environment, I learned just like how to have a relationship with Him and like practical steps to just read my Bible and pray every day and just share the gospel in ways and like learn things that I never knew before. So Jesus like truly just entered my life and formed a relationship with me and changed everything completely through this youth group. Through Encounter Youth, I've gotten um, much closer to God and I feel like I've been listening to His calling in my life. And through that, there has been like obedience that I've been going through. And before, like I knew of God and I knew who He was, but I didn't know His plans for me and His purpose for me. And I've found my identity in Him. Man, where should I start? I feel like from the starting of Encounter Youth and just even the options or opportunities, I should say, that God was like be able to work through me and just even transform my own life with so many different events and just even the every Sunday night just having the opportunity to come before Him with other Christians of my age and just be able to worship Him and just pursue a relationship with Him. It's just like crazy to think back all the times He's met me in my place and just transform my mind, my heart, my thought patterns. It's just great. I think I would have to say one of the biggest takeaways that I've gotten from Encounter Youth in general is how important community is. And because if you want to grow in your relationship with Jesus, it's so helpful to be in community where you have other people who are encouraging you and you have other people who are there to build you up and you're able to pour into other people's love as well. This fall, I'm going to be going to Bethany Global University in Minnesota, which is a Christian missions college where I'll spend junior years overseas on the mission field and just really get empowered as um, living a missionary lifestyle and living life for Christ. Early in my life, God has called me into business, so I'm trying to act that out, and I, I think for me what that looks like is going into college, but before I do that, I'm taking a gap semester to take a trip to Brazil with Randy Clark and a few others. Um, I think it was the youth retreat a year ago, I got the word to go, on a, to, go to Brazil, so I called to Brazil. And then God later in my life, just like a few months ago, gave me an opportunity to walk that out. So that's been really cool. And then after, after the Brazil trip and after college, I will be going straight into business. After I graduate, I'm going to Albania with some of the other students. And then I'll be going to Circuit Riders in Huntington Beach with um, three of my other friends, So, which is really exciting. So just leading me into missions and then hopefully some kind of inner city ministry. So this summer, I'm going to be working for my dad in his landscaping business. Um, and then this fall, I am not going to college. I'm thinking about doing like a gap year program. And this past um, spring, my class did a missions trip to Kenya. And so I'm thinking about going back um, and doing their internship program with a few of my friends. I hope to just see the people who like I grew up going to youth group with and the relationships that were built through the youth group. I just want to see them become the small group leaders and the volunteers who come and make and lead the, ch the kids into what they want to be when they get older, which is hopefully what me and my friends and the other people who I'm graduating with are going to be in a couple of years when they're ready to uh, get back. I would, I would love to see, if I'd came back in five years, I would love to see more student-led. I think it would just be awesome if even like teachings, prayers, all kinds of things, like a lot of the heart for youth group was led by the students and just even seeing a lot of the leaders want that and there's just been a push towards that. And I think there's a lot of really capable young leaders, even, even teens that are ready. I just think it would be so cool to see them act that out and just come back in five years and it's a lot more student led. That would just be awesome. I wanted to see no fear of man in the kids and just worshiping and going after the Lord with our whole hearts. I would love to see like younger students, especially middle schoolers, just like walking in their callings and being able to take part in leadership even like at a really young age. So I'd love to just see like even seventh and eighth graders just really stepping out in their callings and their identities. I hope that this youth group is just 
like fully encounters the Holy Spirit every time they meet together and that this room just like breaks out in spontaneous worship and prayer and healings and just like everyone is so fully like connecting with Jesus and that like everyone is taking actions action and being bold in their faith. Favorite memory would be at one of the education watches over at Gateway House of Prayer on a Wednesday night. Um, back when Joel Bomberger was leading, there was a call for someone to give a word in tongues, and I felt like the Lord was leading me to do that. And at that point, I had had my prayer language for a number of years, but I had always, it was always more of like a, a private thing, and I didn't really know how to share that with people. So I felt like the Lord was leading me to do that. So I went up and then just spoke in tongues for a while. And then everybody was getting interpretations and just the whole room was really moved by the Holy Spirit. So that was super empowering for me um, and just encouraging that the next time the Holy Spirit is leading me to do something to obey and I can look back on that and remember that time um, as a time when I was really used by the Lord. My favorite memory has probably been the Mississippi missions trip because I think that really instilled like a heart of just servanthood in me um, through the multiple service projects we were able to do and through the kids camp we were able to help with and also paved the way for a lot of the friendships that I have now. I love the big swing at you at the youth retreat. Uh, it was a blast. There have been so many memories, but one would be from the youth retreat this year. We had our last supper as seniors, so we all met together at midnight and we got Chick-fil-A and some birthday cake and we all took communion together and it was such a good like time to connect with everybody for like kind of the last retreat, the last thing that we did and it was just really fun. One time we were at the youth retreat, um, one of our guys brought pudding packets up and so we didn't have anything to really make it with so we ended up uh, taking a water jug and ice from the cafeteria and making it back in our cabin and we kind of kept it there in a, uh, in a sink the whole weekend with ice around it. It wasn't that good, but it was fun times. I would say my favorite memory is probably sophomore year on the youth retreat. We had like a dance battle competition with all the small groups and we had the song All Star and we crushed the dance and won that year. 